here we are. We've arrived a little bit early, had a good run in, and uh, yeah, well, it's it's a happening thing today. Day one at Greens Lake in Corrupt. As you saw earlier, the water is right up there, uh, way past the Ball Arts, and on the way in, you could even see that the Victorian Ski Organisation on the way up to Corrupt there uh, has actually got water in the lake there, and they've been asking for years, and now they've got it. Now, I know the government didn't do it, or the council didn't do it, so it is pretty sure that uh, Mother Nature did it themselves and hopefully they'll be able to do some uh, ski competition this year again. It's been quite a while since they've been able to do that. So there's been a few things that uh, already been faulted on this camper. Um, we have uh, the fan is intermittently high to low speed on the fan of the uh, fridge uh, compartment. We've also had the TV antenna since day one never worked. It doesn't seem to want to power up, so they're sending us a new one. Um, also, the, uh, the audio of the radio seems to be very, very mono, <laughs> one way of putting it. It is definitely a bit disappointing, to, and I told them about it, uh, that it's disappointing in the fact that you've got the front left channel and the rear left channel. You don't have a right channel at all, so when you're listening to the FM band, especially you're listening to a bit of rock on Triple M or even some of the you know, uh, later stuff like uh, Ed Sheeran or whatever, when they're throwing the left and the right balance on the speakers, you're definitely missing out a bit on the music there, so uh, that's pretty disappointing, so I'm going to have to rewire that myself. Uh, also the antenna is actually an internal antenna on the unit. The antenna seems to be picking up okay in Altona Meadows where we live, but it is very, very poor further out and is, as I was walking around the camper I noticed that the signal would be fading in and out so that was rather disappointing as well so uh, we're going to be sticking a external antenna onto it instead of having like a little one behind the radio that seems to be pretty pointless so I don't know why they bother with doing that. Uh, for the rest so far the Stony Creek camper is pretty robust it shows really well really well down the highway um, it didn't sway or anything even when I had to go around potholes or, or 
or roadkill for that matter. It dealt really well with the road and followed really well. So I'm really impressed with the way it just hugs the road. Uh, it seems to dump a little bit on the uh, on the Explorer, so uh, we may need to be looking at uh, doing an upgrade there. Um, there's a bit of activity around, uh, some boats out there, uh, the water, like I said earlier, the water is past the bollards. Check it out and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.